Microsoft probably hates me for this video, but I'm gonna show you how you can use features of the Teams Copilot completely for free. They are normally locked behind the M365 Copilot license that is $30 per user per month. And with this little trick, you not only get it for yourself, but for every user in your organization. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a Microsoft 365 Copilot MVP and Cloud Architect from Germany. I'm excited to show you this uh, clever and cost effective way to bring a iPower meeting notes to you, your team and your entire company at zero cost. For this, let's have a look what the Copilot in Teams actually is as of today. So basically when you are in a meeting or when a meeting is completed, you will have the possibility um, to click on the Copilot icon on the right side. That brings in Copilot and lets you do things like generate a meeting recap. You can of course give him further instructions how the recap should look like, what exactly should in the meet a meeting recap, how should it be structured. For example, I often like to start with a prompt that um, says exactly what I want him to, to do, like starting with the participants and all that stuff. But you can see everything you chat here is only for you visible. And um, what it will actually do, it will look on the transcript of the meeting um, and yeah, generate this meeting recap for you. So, and to get this integration in the product, you will still need to pay for the $30 license. But the feature itself, that's the cool thing that is actually able to do it for free because we can build agents and every user that has a M365 Copilot enabled, and I'm not meaning the um, $30 license, I mean the free version. So the M365 Copilot chat experience that every user has per default with an um, Microsoft E3, E5, Business Premium, Business Standard license, etc they will have a button called create agent. And those agents we can create, they can have, for example, a name, a description and custom instructions. And every agent that we can use there has the opportunity to upload a file. Microsoft recently has pulled the limit on the upload restriction which now gives us the opportunity to also upload larger files. And for example, we can upload transcripts. And with that, we can basically build the Teams Copilot for ourselves, at least when it comes to the features, recapping meeting and extracting relevant information out of the transcript. There is also an official reference you can see on, uh, on learnmicrosoft.com slash copilot slash agents, where it says declarative agents that are grounded in instructions and public websites are available at no additional costs. These agents are available by default and will be available in the store based on your existing, um, based on your existing store settings for Teams and Microsoft 365 apps. So that basically means we are gonna build up our Teams Copilot for ourselves. And to do this, I basically already have done this, but I show you step-by-step step how we are gonna build this. So um, we click on new agent and we click on configure. As I said, I already have done this, so I'm gonna show you that right now. I have a name, it's called Teams Copilot, but you can give it whatever name you wanted to give. I have a transcription, uh, I have a, a uh, description. Basically, the description is only what the user sees and what he understands um, what Copilot is doing. And then we have the instructions and that's the important part. So good instruction really determine how good your agent actually is. And I have created the, um, the, the instructions that I think that are closest to that what Microsoft has given their Copilot for instructions. I personally don't know what the exact instructions for the official uh, Copilot in Teams are, um, but um, I have built some of them um, myself. So we start with objective that says help user extract value from meeting transcripts by generating structured summaries and actual next steps. I have the capabilities, summarize meeting transcripts and analyze and recommend next steps. I have a configuration for the input format. The agent receives transcripts in text or file format. Each transcript Scripts includes timestamp, speaker name, spoken content. And then I basically have two actions, either summarizing meetings um, and I have some more 
clear instructions to the agent what he should do when summarizing a meeting. So when I said summarize this meeting, he will not just do a summary in any way that the agent thinks it's best. No, I want him that um, he's actually respecting what I think is a good um, part of a meeting summary. You can, of course, use that by yourself. So whatever you prefer, whatever your company prefers for a good meeting transcript, either maybe you have an official process or something like that, you can put it in there, but you can still change it while you prompt with the agent. You do not need to predefine everything there. If you want, for example, to share this agent to a broader audience, you maybe might not so distinctively describe everything and leave it more to the end user. Um, but so then they need to do a little bit more effort in terms of prompting. The second action that I have is analyze next steps. So um, for example, if we have completed a meeting and I want some information, what could be next steps, what are the follow-ups, etc., I also have it defined there in the system instructions. As I said, the more you put in there, um, of course, um, the, the, more, um, the less you need to prompt. Then I have some um, just general style how um, the co-pilot agent should format its output. So use bullet points, keep tone professional and helpful, avoid repeating transcript text verbatim, summarize meaningfully, okay? You can also change it up and improve that. We don't need any knowledge. We don't need any capabilities. I have just put in a few suggested prompts that will keep and help my users to um, use this agent the way possible. I post the instructions that I've used and the suggested prompts um, in the comment section here or um, in the description section of this video so you can use it for yourself. Then there is nothing else to do than click create if you're creating it the first time or if you're updating the agent, you click on update and then you will have the possibility to either use this link and use it for yourself or you click on change sharing settings and then you can it um, enable the link for anyone in your whole organization or specify users in your organization that you want to share with. For example, um, if you want to share it um, with your team or just with a few users or if you want to make it available for anyone, you can click on anyone and then this link will be updated and will work for anyone in your organization. And then they will be able to basically uh, copy this URL, give that in their browser and bam, they will be in their team's co-pilot, everything for free. And what you can do there, first of all, you see the different prompt suggestions that I have created there. You see, I have next steps, summary, compare ideas, find timelines, short summaries, participation, and everything you would basically need to do um, is at the end of a meeting, you go into your meeting that is available for everyone without a co-pilot license. Um, you find the transcript. Usually you find um, the transcript, for example, um, in the details of the meeting. It sometimes appears up there. For me, I have a co-pilot license with this user, so it is in, um, it is in the um, summary. And then you click on download and you need to download the transcript as doc, as document. Uh, not as VTT. VTT is currently a not supported file format. Okay, so you download this as doc and you get the download saved to your local drive and then you go back, back in the agent and for example, you write a prompt. In this case, create a meeting summary of the following transcript, include attendees, discuss topics and next steps. And it says add more, um, focus on the flow or on the, on the topics and mention um, what interesting facts we mentioned in this meeting. So, and then we um, navigate to our local files. Uh, you will find the transcript in your download folder. Uh, you simply copy paste it there. Now, what happens in the background, the transcript will be uploaded to your OneDrive. So that's not stored anywhere. It's exactly in your OneDrive. So uh, you will see it, you will um, be able to, to access it in your managed upload files. And then you just, yeah, enter and then we get our summary and you see um, it is basically doing a very, very nice job by summarizing all of the information based on the prompt. You see those two sentence summary and the bullet point ish structure. That's what it uses from the system prompt. But you see, I mentioned that I want to have those interesting facts. So um, he also references interesting facts that he found in a meeting transcript. And yeah, 
that's basically all you need to do. So you can either now write a very good prompt and reuse it with every meeting and use this Teams Copilot for free. You share it or you go and do more work on the system prompt and refine it. You still at every time can go back into create agent. Um, you select the Teams Copilot there, you edit the system prompt, you update it and boom, it will be automatically updated on everyone's Teams Copilot within a few minutes. And then they can use the updated, for example, a prompt, a starting prompt. And yeah, it's very easy to do and it's incredibly time saving and and it's free. And that's really, for me, it, it's amazing. I am really excited that uh, Microsoft is giving us that opportunity. I hope you find this information useful. Make sure to drop a comment if, that, if, if you use it and if that was helpful to you. And uh, make sure to check out uh, my LinkedIn. Feel free to write any comments in the comment section if you have any questions. And with that, I say thank you very much and stay curious.